Once you've become eligible for Medi-Cal and you've figured out what your share of cost is, the next question is whether Medi-Cal is going to recover against your state. And it turns out that if you're in a long-term nursing care facility at any age, Medi-Cal will submit a claim against your estate for all that they've expended on your care. Medi-Cal may place a lien on your home if there aren't sufficient assets in the estate to pay them back. At nearly $7,500 per month, a year's stay could result in over a $90,000 Medi-Cal bill. Unfortunately, not enough clients pass away, leaving the assets sufficient to pay back Medi-Cal. And typically, the only asset remaining at the death of the Medi-Cal recipient is the home, which means that Medi-Cal is subject to putting a lien on that home for the amount that they've expended on your care. Fortunately, there are planning opportunities available to avoid that lien on the home, to avoid recovery against your estate, but it does require the experienced help of a skilled elder law or estate planning attorney who can help you transfer the assets out of your name so as to avoid recovery after you've passed away. Keep in mind that while one spouse is living, Medi-Cal cannot recover anything. We're really only planning for when both spouses or when an unmarried applicant passes away. If you have any questions, please call our office for help.